Hi guys, I'm back with another video in the series called Dunker, where I implement dribble shots into Android application. So the shot we are going to implement today is by a dribbler named Kausar Ahmed. The link to the shot is in the description, you can check that out if you like it. So in this tutorial, we are going to focus on the middle screen, that is the home screen. Let's break the design into views we are going to discuss further in this tutorial. I've made this specially so that you have an idea about how to go for a design. It's mostly for the beginners. Provide me with the feedback if you like it. Let's break it down. To the top right corner, we have the circle image view. For this, we will add a dependency in our Gradle file. Just to the left of it, we have two text views, which will have their own properties respectively. And we'll also see how to apply custom fonts to them. Just below them is our edit text, which is going to be the search bar and to make it look like one, we'll style it using two drawable files, one for the left drawable icon and the other for the background details. Next we have is a horizontal recycler view, whose each item consists of a circle image view which represents stories on the home page. The last one is another recycler view but a vertical one, whose each item is a card view consisting of two image views and two text views. So let's see how we will implement this activity in Android Studio. So I first created a new Android project named Social Media App and initialized the Git repository for the same. Next, in order to implement the UI, we need to define the guidelines as we're using constant layout throughout the tutorial. So first, we'll do it for the text views and the circle image view. Next, I'm going to drop two text views and match their constraints to the guidelines placed respectively. Then we'll move further by adding some more properties to the text views like text style, text size, text color in order to replicate the look that we saw from the design. As we are going to use the circle image view, next we'll add the dependency in the Gradle file for the same. We'll also add the dependency for the support design for the card views that we'll use later. Now we'll place a circle image view with random width and height and a random source. We'll switch to the design view and match the constraints to the guidelines. Make its height and width to be match constraint so that it's responsive for every screen and remove the padding. Now let's see how it looks. It looks nice, but it would look even more better when we will apply custom fonts to it. Now let's move further and add more guidelines for the search bar. We're going to make the search bar out of an edit text. So drag it down and match its constraint with the guidelines that we just placed. As I told you before in the breakdown also, that we are going to have two drawable files. One for the left custom drawable icon that is present in the search bar and the other one for the edit text background styling, where we will define its rounded corner radius, background color and many other properties also according to the requirement of the design. After defining both the drawable files, now we'll just go back to the edit text and add these drawables there with some other properties so that our edit text looks a lot more like the search bar in the design. Now we'll just switch back to the design and after this, We'll provide every view in the layout with some IDs so that we can reference it back while using them in the main activity Java class. So now I'm going to declare all the views containing edit text, text views and etc. And after that, we'll be initializing them using the IDs provided in the UI. Once we are done with that, We'll create a typeface object which we will use to apply the custom fonts on these views. We'll be using .set typeface function to set those fonts on the views. Now let's see how it looks. It looks pretty nice now. Right now we have no friends. So let's get ourselves some friends first. For that, we'll add two more guidelines for the recycler view that is going to hold the stories for us. Next, we'll put a recycler view and match its constraints back to the guideline as usual and mark its height and width to be match constraint. 
we'll first create some packages so that our code is well arranged. For the story recycler view, we'll need three things. First, the model class, a layout for the each item and a story adapter. So first, we'll be creating a model class named story item, which will have an integer variable for the image and a boolean variable to determine the story. Next, we'll be creating a story adapter and then set it up with all necessary functions that have to be implemented after inheritance. As you can see, the constructor for the adapter accepts a list of the model's class story item and a context. An onCreateViewHolder function will inflate the layout for each item of the recycler view that we'll create next. In the story layout, we'll only have a circle image view and an adapter will set this image with whatever we'll fetch from the data list using the getter and setter functions out there. Then inside the adapter, we'll declare and initialize the view created in the layout so when the data is fetched and it can be binded with the views. We'll fetch the data using the getter and setter functions in the model class and set it to the image view. Then in the main activity, we are going to declare and initialize the recycler view and adapter, arrays and the list that has to be passed as a parameter into the adapter. Then moving forward, we'll create two functions, one for the initialization of the recycler view and the second one for creating the hardcore data. Here, we'll have arrays initialized with data. And after forming those objects of the model class and adding those into the list of the same type, we'll pass the list created in the adapter with the context and call both the functions in the onCreate view. Now let's see what it looks like. It looks clean and pretty to me. Now let's fetch the isStory variable and check if it's true, then provide the border to the circle image view, else no border. So we are done implementing the recycler view for the story. Now let's start with the post recycler view. For this one, we'll also follow the same procedure that we did for the story recycler view. First, we'll create a layout to show how each item in the recycler view would look like then a model class for the post and a post adapter. In this layout, we'll have a card view having three image views and two text views aligned according to the design. The link for the GitHub repo is in the description. Let's see the implementation as I time lapse it. So after completing the post layout, we'll create a model class named post item which according to the layout will consist of two int variable for images and two string variable for text to use. We'll implement the constructor and get and setter functions for the same. These are the function we call to fetch the respected variables out of the object and bind it with the view declared inside the onBindViewHolder function. Next, we'll drag a recycler view for the posts and match its constraints back to the guideline as usual and mark it height and width to be match constraint. We'll next create an adapter for the post just similar to the one we created for the story. I've explained it earlier how this works. So in short, onCreateViewHolder inflates the layout for us in the recycler view and viewholder class declares and initializes the views we have in the layout. Then onBindViewHolder function binds the data fetched from the list of the class using getter functions and set it to the views declared and initialized. Now we'll move back to the main activity again. Similarly here also, we'll create two functions, one for declaring and initializing the recycler view and second one for creating the hardcore data, but this time for the post.
in the end we'll call both the functions in the on create method so now let's run it and see what it finally looks like so here we have a fully implemented home activity it looks pretty clean and soothing to my eyes the search bar looks exactly what we expected it to be Uh, both the recycler views are properly inflated with the hardcore data and overall it looks pretty decent to me so that's it for this video and drop a like if you liked it share it with as many people as you can let's make android development easy together if you want more and more of this content subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts drop a comment below and i'll be more than happy to resolve them i've pushed the code to my github repository and you can find the link in the description thanks for watching stay safe stay healthy keep coding soon you'll find me taking another rebound to some other shot out there